Baltimore's Roger Carr should have hidden his head in shame, for with Greg Landry again replacing injured Burt Jones, the Colts might have beaten the Browns had the Louisiana speedster held on to this perfectly placed pass. Led by Landry, the Colts offense was non-existent. Their only touchdown of the day came on this super special teams play by number 47, rookie Larry Brazil. Still, the Colts had the Browns beaten until late in the game. Then Brian Sipe, rapidly gaining a reputation as a quarterback who delivers with the game on the line, documented his coolness by hitting Dave Logan in stride for the touchdown that tied the game. Then from his own 10, Sipe threw to Ozzie Newsom in the flat, and the 235-pound Wizard of Oz turned on his sprinter's speed. 74 yards later, Newsom was caught, but every one of the 72,000 in Municipal Stadium knew what was coming. For the third time in three games, Don Cockroft's field goal was the difference as the unbeaten Cleveland Browns pulled out another last-minute miracle, 13 to 10.